Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition we're going to be discussing tips for newbie traders. In this session we will be looking at how to stack the odds in the favor of consistent winning trades with a cool tip for newbie traders. The number of retail traders who lose their deposited trading funds within the first six months is scary. In the United Kingdom, retail brokers are required to have a financial health warning on the front page of their website. This is one that we picked at random from a well-known UK retail broker. Some brokers put the figure at over 80%, but let's not split hairs, this is still a worrying trend. It must be worrying because governments have forced brokers to put the warning on these sites. One of the biggest areas that new traders fall down is because of a lack of knowledge about how the money markets and where the lack of consistency regarding the setting up and implementation of trades and most of all a total disregard for stop losses and their correct implementation and setup of leverage which falls under risk management, perhaps the most important aspect of trading. One of the best ways to mitigate the risk of losing trades is to use a trading criteria checklist. Here are some of the ideas about what you might put on that checklist. The idea behind this is it's an assistant to help you in the early days, on a trade by trade basis, to make sure that you have everything in place to help stack the odds of winning trades in your favor. Before you do anything, you want to have adopted a trading style or plan where you have consistently made money on a demo account before trying it with real money. Is the market trending? Does it have support and resistance? Are all of your indicators confirming your trade entry? Consider using a scrolling vertical line which might help you cast your eyes down to all of the indicators rather than just focusing on price action and potentially missing something. Set a tight stop loss for each trade and don't risk blowing your account balance in one single trade. Spread the risk over several trades to give yourself a chance of making more money than you lose. You should aim for a minimum of a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio. That is to say that you want to win twice the amount that you are prepared to lose on each trade. This will help you keep your account balance in a healthy state. Decide on your preferred time of day to trade. Try not to trade at the end of a one hour time frame if you are an intraday trader. These can often be impetuous or a change in direction of trends as you need to ascertain if this is the case on a trade by trade basis. Try not to trade at the end of one time zone and the beginning of a new one. Often you will find that different time zone traders have a different sentiment with regard to a particular currency pair and this might be impetuous for a change in direction. Don't trade over economic data releases, especially if these are marked as high impact which can often cause extreme market volatility. Wait until the trend has been identified after the release. These are just a few ideas which you could put onto your trading criteria checklist. Print one off and keep it beside you and meticulously go through it every time before you pull the trigger on a trade. Eventually these things will become like second nature, but until they do, treat the checklist like a friendly assistant. One of the biggest barriers to successful trading in the currency market is a lack of consistency in one's approach. Something like this will go a long way to helping new traders to consistently make the right decisions on a trade by trade basis and this will stack the odds in your favor. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.